What is up YouTube? Today we are talking about the latest news for the Ethereum protocol. It has just been announced by the developer community behind Ethereum that they're reducing the block reward. So the amount of ether that a miner gets for mining a block. And that has a lot of implications for the future of Ethereum and the price of the token. So let's hash it out. Now guys, it's like 60 degrees and nice and chilly outside in Washington, D.C. So we are back in hoodie season. Fall has arrived, but that is not the only thing that is falling. See what I did there? The Ethereum price has absolutely tanked over the last few months and we're back to all time lows over the last year. And in response to some of the stuff that's been happening in the Ethereum world, the developer community behind Ethereum just announced that they're gonna be reducing the block reward for a successful mined block from three ether down to two ether. So that's about 33%. Now, what does this mean? And why are they doing it? First of all, the reason they're doing this is because the inflation rate for Ethereum itself, the amount of Ether in circulation is very high year over year. We're at about 8%, very close to 8%, it's like 75 to 8% every single year inflation on Ether. And that's rivaling the amount of inflation on fiat currency. So obviously we don't want that. And by doing this block reward reduction, it's reducing the amount of Ether that's being created every single day. So about every 14 seconds, an average of 14 seconds, new ether is created and that is three ether right now. By reducing that by 33%, they can also reduce the inflation of the ether token itself as well. So that's why they're trying to reduce the inflation of ether from seven and a half to 8% down to about 4% to 5%. And that is a significant change and it's very important. This is the same reason why there's a halving in Bitcoin when the mining reward gets halved. It's the same exact reason. And in this case, all the negative reaction to this idea is temporary. This is a good thing for the Ethereum protocol. Hey guys, just to let you know, you should watch this video to the very end because I'm dropping some knowledge toward the end of this video that I don't think anyone else is talking about. If you hold Ethereum or you think you might buy Ethereum this year, or if you're just a crypto enthusiast, definitely watch this video to the end. So here's what this means. This means that, first of all, the difficulty bomb, the difficulty of the mining process has been delayed. So what they were trying to do is make the mining process, the, out, the proof of work difficulty higher. The developer community behind Ethereum has been working voraciously on the Casper protocol, which is the proof of stake algorithm that's going to hopefully replace the proof of work algorithm or at least supplement it in the future to make Ethereum more scalable. In the meantime, this reduction of block reward is going to help stabilize the Ethereum ecosystem as a whole. There are a lot of issues that need to be worked out in the Ethereum ecosystem, especially in scalability, especially in catching up from an ecosystem perspective from for developers, building applications, etc. Lots of work has to be done, but in this case, it's gonna help stabilize the micro economy that is the Ethereum protocol. Guys, we'll get back to the video in just one second, but I just wanted to say, if you wanna build your knowledge, boost your cryptocurrency gains, and join the movement, please smash that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future content. Now, back to the video. You're gonna hear a lot of negativity about this in the coming weeks, so don't be alarmed, of course, miners don't like this. Miners don't like this because now they're gonna to have to put in the same amount of effort or more effort to get less reward. So obviously miners are not stoked about this and I'm sure you're gonna see videos popping up, tweets and Instagram posts with a lot of hate about this move. But don't listen to the hate. This is a good move for the Ethereum protocol. It does hurt miners in the short term. In the short term. Think of it this way though. If you're a miner, Ethereum right now is at $200 per token or less depending on when you're watching this video in September of 2018. If Ethereum continues to inflate, it continues to crash down, it doesn't matter how many Ether you're getting as a reward, you're not making a whole lot. 
if you're a miner, you want something like this to happen to stabilize the Ethereum blockchain, to build up the token price, because two Ether at $500 per token is a lot better than three of them at $100 per token. So don't stress about the mining reward going down by 33%. This is the right move. And beyond that, with this 2018 roadmap that Ethereum has, if they can go into 2019 and 2020, completing the Casper protocol shift to proof of stake, completing dynamic sharding for their blockchain, completing the difficulty bomb that they're trying to drop into the Ethereum protocol, this could be an extremely successful year for Ethereum, and this could be a really good entry for investors looking to get back in at a lower value and ride this back up. I'm an Ethereum developer. However, I do acknowledge the many shortcomings and there have been many sleepless nights for me trying to figure out how to get around a really, really annoying thing about Ethereum, whether it's from a development perspective or just a protocol perspective. So I know that there are flaws, but I think that they're being worked on and this is the first step to stabilizing the protocol as a whole. And guys, let me give you a little bit of an anecdote that will help you feel a little better about this news. The last Bitcoin halving that went from 25 Bitcoin to 12.5 Bitcoins per block reward was met with significant, significant negativity, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And it did drive the price down in the short term. Until people realized it helps with inflation, Miners could survive just fine because the pr token price was going up over time. So that 12 and a half Bitcoins is actually worth the same, if not more than that original 25 Bitcoin reward. And then the price exploded after that halving, exploded. And I'm not promising you that Ethereum is gonna explode. I can never tell you that that's gonna happen. But what I can tell you is this halving for Bitcoin did equate to significant fear, uncertainty, and doubt in the beginning, and then it moved on to a significant uptick. So if we look at this 33% reduction in mining reward for the Ethereum blockchain, we have to look at this with guarded optimism. Obviously expect that this is going to hurt the price in the short term. But as time goes on, I think people are going to be more and more bullish about this as they see the inflation rate go down, as things react the way that the Ethereum developers are intending them to. So guys, I hope this video was helpful for you and I definitely, definitely recommend that you check out some of my other videos. I have them linked up on the screen here. I have a series called Token Talk Tuesday where I talk about all sorts of cool tokens and things you need to know as a cryptocurrency investor. So I recommend you check out that playlist. I'll see you guys on the next video. Cheers.